In this video, we're going to continue on with the Using Trigonometry to Find Angle Measures worksheet, and I'll leave a link to get to the CUDA software free worksheet in the description below. Currently, our directions are to find the measure of the indicated angle to the nearest degree. In this video, the second video of this worksheet, I'm going to do numbers 11 through 18, and in the final video, the third video, I'll do numbers 19 through 26. So before we start with number 11, I'm going to write a useful acronym or a useful saying to help you figure out whether you're going to use sine, cosine, or tangent. That's going to be so, ka, toa. So the sine of the angle equals the opposite over the hypotenuse. The cosine of the angle equals the adjacent side over the hypotenuse. And the tangent of the angle equals the opposite side over the adjacent side. So in this first one, let's call this angle x. So we're solving for the measure of that angle x. We're given what's opposite x, so the O, and we're also given what's adjacent to x. Because remember, adjacent is touching the angle, but it is not the hypotenuse. So we're given O and A, looking at so katoa with O and A, we're going to be using tangent. So we can say the tangent of that angle X is going to be equal to the opposite, which is 29, over the adjacent, which is 38. Our goal is to isolate this X so that we can find what it equals in degrees. In order to do that, we're going to have to take the inverse tangent of both sides. Since whatever we do to the left, we also must do to the right, and vice versa. So the inverse tangent of the tangent of x is just x. So now we have our x isolated. The right side, we're just going to enter that into a calculator, making sure our calculator is in degree mode. We're going to do the inverse tangent of 29 over 38. And that quantity, 29 divided by 38, is within parentheses. The arctan of 29 over 38 equals approximately 37 degrees. So the answer to number 11 is 37 degrees. Remember, we're rounding to the nearest degree. In number 12, let's go ahead and call this angle A. We're going to solve using tangent since we're given the opposite and we're given the adjacent. The only thing we're lacking is this hypotenuse. So the tangent of A is equal to the opposite side length, which is 8, over the adjacent side length, 20. Now we'll do the inverse tangent of both sides in order to isolate that A, or get that angle by itself. The inverse tangent of the tangent of A is just A, and then we'll do the inverse tangent of 8 divided by 20, which is 21.8, which rounds to 22 degrees. So our indicated angle in number 12 is approximately 22 degrees. In number 13, again, the only thing we're lacking is this hypotenuse, so we know we're going to use tangent. Let's go ahead and call this angle B. So the tangent of B is going to be equal to the opposite, which is 34, over the adjacent, which is 42. Taking the inverse tangent of both sides, we're left with B on the left-hand side, so that angle B is equal to the inverse tangent of 34 over 42. Typing that into our calculator, we're going to get approximately 39 degrees. So the measure of angle B, which is our indicated angle, is 39 degrees. On to number 14, let's go ahead and call this angle Y. So for angle Y, we're given the hypotenuse, and we're also given the adjacent. So let's scroll back up to where we wrote Sokotoa so we can see 
if we're given the hypotenuse, we're either going to use sine or cosine, but we're given the hypotenuse and the adjacent, so we're going to use cosine. So for number 14, the cosine of angle y is equal to, remember it's adjacent over hypotenuse, so that's going to be 52 over 56. Just as we did with sine and tangent, we're going to take the inverse cosine of the cosine of y in order to isolate that y. Whatever we do to the left, we're going to have to do to the right. So we have y on the left hand side and then we're going to have to do the inverse cosine of 52 over 56. And that's going to give us approximately 22 degrees. So the measure of the indicated angle is approximately 22 degrees. In number 15, let's go ahead and call this angle X. For this triangle, we're given the hypotenuse and we're also given the adjacent. So we're going to use cosine. The cosine of X equals the adjacent side length, which is 8 over the hypotenuse length, which is 17. Doing the inverse cosine of both sides will leave us with x on the left and typing that into the calculator, inverse cosine of 8 over 17 is 61.9, which rounds to 62 degrees. For number 15. In number 16, let's go ahead and call this angle a, for this triangle, we're given the hypotenuse and we're given the adjacent side of that angle A. So again, we're going to use cosine. The cosine of angle A is equal to adjacent, which is 13, over the hypotenuse, which is 18. The inverse cosine of both sides will get A on the left and the inverse cosine of 13 over 18 is going to give us 43.7, which rounds to 44 degrees. So the measure of angle A is equal to 44 degrees. In number 17, let's go ahead and call this angle R. For this triangle, we're given the side that's opposite R, and we're also given the side that's adjacent to R. So remembering so katoa, we have O and A, so we're going to use tangent. The tangent of that angle R is equal to the opposite side length, 34, over the adjacent, which is 39. Using the inverse tan on both sides will give us that R is equal to the inverse tangent of 34 over 39, which is approximately 41 degrees. So the indicated angle measurement is 41 degrees. And on to the last problem in this video, number 18. And in the next video, remember, I'll go ahead and finish out this worksheet. Let's go ahead and call this angle X. We're solving for the measure in degrees of that angle X. We're given what's opposite X, which is 51, that's the opposite, and we're also given the hypotenuse, because remember the hypotenuse is always directly across or directly opposite that right angle. So remembering so katoa, we're going to use sine, since we're given the O and the H. The sine of that angle X is equal to the opposite side length, which is 51, over the hypotenuse, which is 54. Taking the inverse sine of both sides is our next step. In doing so, we're left with x on the left hand side and entering into our calculator the inverse sine 51 divided by 54 is going to be 70.8 which rounds to 71 degrees for number 18. Go on to the next video where I'll do numbers 19 through numbers 26. Before you do that, remember to like this video and subscribe to my channel.